All right, this is a uh, resident genius here, and I've got my two cells right here. These are uh, basically Smax design, and uh, they're supposed to be wired in parallel to each other, drawing about 12 amperes each. But uh, for this bench test, I've just got plain old distilled water, and there's a little bit of uh, electrolyte. I'm sorry, that's not distilled water; that's tap water from Woodbury. So. I've got my ammeter, 0 to 25 amps, and just some fittings, wires. Uh, I'm going to wire it all up, fill these cells up. Now this is uh, going to be a bench test with zero electrolyte, except for the residual crap still remaining in the bottom of. Okay, now what I have here is my positive lead, which is disconnected. I'm doing uh, initial run. Uh, this is zero electrolyte added to just tap water, which I know sucks, but... It's what I was limited to at the moment. I've got my outlets piped together into a T. And into this, this is an initial run. Again, no electrolyte. I've got an ammeter to tell me how much juice I'm pulling. And this is uh, 12 volts, and these cells are wired in series. Unfortunately, I'm working with this one-handed. So this is uh, only pulling about 5 amperes. I guess I'll put probably around. Actually, I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I'm going to turn the camera off and see how many amps it pulls. The cell's generating. And they're wired in series. I've already stated that a couple times. We've got a steady 5 amps. And this is our production. Yesterday, I hooked it up with a massive amount of electrolyte in there. And it maxed out the meter. It was pulling over 25 amperes, but it was also probably generating near, like, three liters, four liters a minute. There was just a steady stream of bubbles. If I lit one, it probably would have flashed back into the whole thing. So yeah, there's dismal production as always. At five. Okay, run number two. Uh, all I did was wire these cells in parallel so that they're each going to get uh, 12 volts across them. Uh, again, same electrolyte, well, same water, uh, which is no electrolyte. Let's see what our ammeter draws. Okay, we've got over 25 amps. Right around 25, it's wavering. We've got good production. Uh, wire's getting warm. Decent production. Again, it settles right around 25 amps. And there's our gas production. Must have been pulling about 50 amps yesterday when it was uh, bubbling all insane like that. Okay, we're back again. This is run number three. Now I've added about a half a teaspoon um, to the whole electrolyte solution, so it's equal electrolyte. Um, I've also wired them back into a series configuration to give it more resistance and therefore won't draw as many amperes, I have no idea how many amps it's going to draw. I've got a 0 to 25 over here again. Everybody knows that. And uh, let's see what it's got. Okay, so that's pegged but hovering right around 25. And I've got about twice as much gas production. And that's due to the fact that it's subjecting each of these to 25 amperes and not each of these to 12 amperes. And as we all know, amperes that makes the gas. So, this is overwhelmingly 14 gauge wire. 10 gauge wire is alright. So yeah, this is right around 25 and amperes, which is what I wanted it to run at. And about 6 amps per, or 6 volts per cell. And I've got good production. 